What's up, guys? It's your boy James C. here, The Wolf. All right, so <clears throat> check it out. This particular video, though not normally something we would have on this platform, which is why it'll probably end up being on... I just want to make sure all that was on. Okay, good. Uh, will probably be end up being on uh, the Bad Wolf Media channel, which is my other channel, which will have more personalized stuff like this. Uh, coming soon. Well, actually, it's already in existence, but once we get over a thousand people, I'm going to start jumping over there and getting some videos and followers going over there as well. So this particular video is about a guy who moves a 20-ton stone by himself, by hand, without modern tools. Yeah, I didn't believe it either until I actually seen this video. Then I went out and actually bought the full DVD that the guy has. Now, I don't know what happened, but I can't find my full DVD. Either case, I couldn't show you the whole video anyway because it's his protected material. But this guy ends up moving a 5-ton stone, a 10-ton stone, a 20-ton stone, um, he poured it in, into a mold and then moved it. And then eventually at the end of the video, he ends up moving a barn, his barn, across the field by himself. So let's check this out. Uh, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. Check out the new merch down below on your phone. Just scroll like this and you'll see all the new hats, logos, and hoodies that we are providing, so thank you for that. They'll have my logos and info on there, some court cases, um, some of the codes for Nazis and Nationals. Um, so I digress. Let's get back to it. So also in the video, um, he basically makes a, a mini Stonehenge by himself, and he shows how with simple techniques, he's able to do these things. It's about six or seven minutes long, so I'm going to let it play for that. Um, but it's kind of like this. If you find the balance point of an object, no matter how big it is, and you put, like, let's say, like a, a steel marble under it, okay, you can literally make that thing move with one finger. You know what I mean? Because it's perfectly balanced, or you can move it, okay? Um, or using um, leverages, levers and pulleys, and you can basically move anything. So let's let's take a look at this. I wish I could. I had the entire video. I would um, I would show you some more clips from it, but I just don't. I don't know where all my good videos went. But or CDs, DVDs, whatever. Let's take a look. So it says a man from Michigan has discovered how to move a 20-ton stone by himself with manpower and counterweights. Okay, so his name is Wally Wallington, believe it or not, or Wallace. So he just slid a 300-pound block across a wood trellis that had arches perfectly made so that as he pushed it, it would just roll. You guys can find the same video by Googling or YouTube searching, um, Guy Moves 20 Ton Stone. All the places that used to have his videos, I can't find one that, <clears throat> I found one that might still sell the video, but I didn't try it. So he put a stone underneath a stone, found the balance point by a cross section, and right in that center spot, put a stone, and it just spins. He moved 
moved it 30 by 40 pole barn. <coughs> right here. There's the video. That's it. He moved that whole thing across the field. Nineteen thousand pounds stone. <coughs> he poured it. So, like a teeter-totter, he basically puts weights on one side, lifts it up, puts a block under the high point, goes to the other side, adds enough weight until it forces to go up, and does the same thing. Then when he gets up high enough, he can put in either something underneath it or uh, cause it to come down on one end, dig a hole at the bottom like the Egyptian pyramid or uh, obelisk show in the pictures, dig a hole, and it'll right itself and then just push it forward. The grandkids have taken the day off school, and the cameras are rolling. If you guys watch Papa, he's going to do something wild. They're here to watch Granddad lift a block with the weight of two bulldozers. It's ready. Here's how it's supposed to work. I think since the making of this video originally years and years back, I think he's passed away because I can't, his website's not up anymore, and there's only a couple of mock websites that have his information. But I don't know if you can still buy uh, the original video, but if you can, it's usually around 20 bucks. It's definitely worth it. It's an awesome watch. Dangerous as heck. This man made Stonehenge by himself. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed that informational little video. Um, looking at this, you can easily see now how it's not that impossible for people to have made Stonehenge or <clears throat> or even the the pyramids, uh, which of course are a little bit bigger of a of a of a bit to chew. But uh, the principles are there, is that it is nothing is impossible with the right equipment or knowledge. So I wouldn't be doing that by myself. I ain't trying to get squished or knocked unconscious or flown, uh, thrown across a, a yard or something crazy. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not, I'm not built like that. So that's about it, guys. I definitely appreciate your time and attention. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. Your boy, The Wolf. I'm out. i uh, got more videos to make, so uh, I'll let you later.